My name is Joyce Powers, and I own Spriggs Delight Farm in Sharpsburg, Maryland. I went to France and uh, stayed there for a while with my kids, and I really liked the goat cheese, so I thought when I came home I would buy some goats. And I'd had goats before, so I knew what goats were like, and I liked them. So I bought six registered alpine goats and started making goat cheese. It took me three years to learn how to make it the way I wanted it. I started making the goat cheese in the house, hauled the milk to the house every day. And at that time, I did all, all of it. I did milk the goats and did everything. But since then, I've gotten old <laughs> and I can't do it anymore. And uh, so now I have lots of help. The first thing is, of course, the goats, and they have to be milked twice a day, and just like cattle. Uh, you could do it three times, but we would never get anything else done. The pasteurizer is a 62-gallon pasteurizer. Most of it is Chev. With Chev, we leave it sit overnight, and then the next morning we dip it into bags and let it drain for 24 hours. And then we put it in our big mixer. Mixing makes it nice and smooth. Then it has to be salted. If it has other ingredients, we make cranberry walnut, jalapeno and chive, pineapple jalapeno. Well, of course, we make plain Chev. When it's mixed and the different ingredients are mixed in, it's package. We don't use any preservatives or any antibiotics or anything like that. Uh, everything is all natural and we do the very best we can to keep it fresh and, and clean. I'm 79 years old and, and I'm not in the best of health so uh, I would like to, to, as long as I'm alive, I would like it to, to continue. My daughter makes the cheese now and uh, I would like it to continue.